It's a significant Tuesday as RBI Governor Raghuram Rajan has kept CRR unchanged at 4% but has made headlines when he slashed policy rate by 0.5% to four-year low of 6.75%, which means that repo rate, the rate at which the central bank lends to the banks, has been cut by 100 basis points this year. It has to be noted that the first two cuts of 25 basis points each in January and March were both outside of the policy review schedule. With a cut of 0.5%, the reverse repo rate settles at 5.75% now. Therefore, the Reserve Bank has front-loaded policy action by a reduction in the policy rate by 50 basis points. Given our year-ahead projections of inflation, this ensures that one-year expected Treasury bill real interest rates of about 1.5 to 2%, which we think is appropriate for this stage of the recovery. A quick look at the parameters will show why the RBI governor bushed this time. The CPI and the WTI were on a decline and growth and IIP exerted pressure. And these factors sparked the expectations of a rate cut from the RBI governor. Eyeing to tame inflation figures, the RBI governor expects inflation to reach 5% in January and to stay below 2016 target of 6% in financial year 2016-17. RBI, however, treaded cautiously on the growth target as it lowered the growth estimate to 7.4% from 7.6% for financial year 2016. The SLR also remains intact at 21.5%. The governor foresees a fall of 1% in SLR within the next year. The surprise move by RBI governor will spell cheer for consumers as it would lead to lower home, auto and other existing and new loans. The January 2016 target of 6% inflation is likely to be achieved. Therefore, the focus should now shift to bringing inflation to around 5% by the end of fiscal 2016-17. The central bank also said that global growth and trade slower than initial expectations have led to continuing lack of appetite for new investment in the private sector, the constraint imposed by stressed assets on bank lending and waning business confidence. The rate cut assumed significance as the ease rates would enhance this appetite for new business and give more teeth to Prime Minister Modi's Startup Stand Up India initiative. Preeti Kaur, DD News.